Got the cup of debt, LTX 1050. I've got three pulleys I have to change. All three of the middle pulleys are bad. First thing I'm going to do is jack it up. Now it's up in the air, we'll go underneath of it. The three pulleys I'm replacing, these two here are identical. This one here is a little bit wider and different. Grab something to lay on. Go ahead and set the emergency brake. Okay, I'm going to take that bolt out. Same with this one here. Those are both the same kind of pulleys. I'll go ahead and swap those out first. We'll go ahead and put a little bit of Loctite on the threads. Take this new one right here. Put it on up in there. Because it's a threaded hole right here. Get that belt on there. Okay, now go ahead and do this one right here. Put the belt on there, just slide it up on there. As long as you got the emergency brake on, it makes the job a lot easier. Now to get this pulley off here, we're going to have to take the belt off, and we're going to have to take the emergency brake off. Now that you have the emergency brake off, you can go ahead and pull this spring off of here. Now this is going to be loose like so, because this stays in one place. Okay, in order to get that pulley off and replace it, I have to take that nut off and take the one off the other side. Then I'll have to come down here, all the way to the back here. I'm going to have to get in here. I'm going to have to take that bolt out and back here. If I can see it right there, I'll loosen that one up. I won't take it out, I'll just loosen it up. I'm also going to have to take the battery out. And then I'll come up here. And there's a bolt right here. And there's a bolt right there. I'm going to have to take those out. Because i got to raise this up. Because right here is the nut for that pulley. And uh, it's the only way I can get to it. Okay, when you go to take that nut off, you'll come up here to the top and... Kind of pull this back and you'll see a bolt right there or a bolt head half inch you're going to have to hold that to get the nut off the other side okay i got my bolt out from this side on both sides i come up here and i took my two bolts out from there and i came down here and i took my bolt out from right there and then i just loosened that one up take your bungee cord Hold the seat up. Now, I just want to point out that this is optional. You don't have to take the battery out, but the battery is heavy and it's going to put a lot more weight on your on your body of the tractor and it's going to try and slide it back harder. So I just did it to take the weight off of it to make it a lot easier. But that's your preference, whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to pull this off. And it'll come right off. Now you can go ahead and take this bolt out and the one on the other side. After removing all those bolts, it just slid back. And there's the nut I'm looking for. So here's how it came apart. A washer, a spacer, and then a nut for a spacer. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put the nut right here. I'm going to take this sleeve, I'm going to put it with the indent up, protruding up, there we go. I'm going to put it in just like that. Now i got a washer left, it's going to be right here on this side, in between when I put the bolt up through there. That's where this washer is going to be. Okay, i got the spring back on, everything's on there. I'm going to go ahead and check the emergency brake, make sure it works, and hook the belt up. Okay, there it is. Now I'll go ahead and put the uh, body back on and bolt it down. So now all you're going to do is pick up on the back, 
slide it back in place. Okay, remember now we took eight bolts out, one there, two back there, and one right here, and then times that by two because you got the other side. So you got eight bolts you got to put back in. We're going to do that right now, but don't tighten them up until you get all the bolts in. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, pad back on here. Okay, I got all my bolts in. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down. Okay, everything's tightened down. Okay, battery's in. All you got to do is push this in. I put this underneath here just to keep it out of the way. Okay, three pulleys later, we'll start up and see what the pulleys sound like. Because it was making a big racket before. Pulleys are nice and quiet. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks for watching.